All right, so today I want to talk about the new UCR rule changes. Now, obviously, there's been a fair amount of controversy over the weekend, including the Tour of Flanders, where Mickey Shaw got kicked out for handing a bottle to spectators. Now, I'll put that clip in now, but it's become pretty infamous and a lot of people aren't happy. Uh, he posted a picture on Instagram as well, which went sort of viral and everyone was commenting on it. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Brandon McNulty and why he should have been disqualified today um, in the Tour of the Basque Country, stage two up the final climb. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about uh, super tucking and uh, why maybe it's more dangerous than otherwise what it used to be. So first of all, we're going to go on, on littering. Now, I think everyone agrees that littering is bad. I think also everyone, everyone also agrees that more green zones in races are good. However, I think most people disagree on throwing bottles. I think if you throw a bottle into the middle of nowhere, then it's like, come on, mate, that's not great. However, they are biodegradable, so it's questionable as there's still actual that environmental harm. But I think when you give it to the fans, like, I just don't understand. I don't think anyone understands why the UCI has banned people for, from doing that. Because the reason they are basically introducing this uh, littering rules is because some regions in certain countries don't want to host bike races because they're like, you just throw loads of trash into our countryside, which does make sense. However, I think <clears throat> throwing beat-ons to fans is not an issue. And I don't understand why the UCI has made this rule or hasn't made an exception saying, you know, if you throw it towards the fans, that's okay. Or that maybe the first thing, if you litter, shouldn't be a disqualification. <clears throat> Sorry. But it should also just be a fine, maybe, for at the beginning. And then maybe a disqualification if you do it, like, three times in a race. You know, like, I don't understand how a disqualification... Like, technically, I think some of the guys at the end, Van der Poel might have just thrown his ball away. Not in a green zone. Should he get disqualified? No. And I think, I think Askreen did as well. So, that, I think that's really stupid. Okay, so that's, that's the first issue. Littering... Just don't ban people for littering and more green zones. It's good, but, you know, throwing bead onto fans is good uh, and not an issue. Uh, then part two, we've got Brandon McNulty today. He decided that, you know what, we're on a slight uh, sort of flatter part on the climb. Let's get well aero. And he got well aero for like, OK, maybe five seconds. But he should get he should get fined. I think I think believe the first rule uh the first law, sorry, is like in the in the rules. The first fine thing is you get a fine, fine, and time, then then time bonuses, and then a disqualification. So he should at least got fined it. I don't know if he has. I don't think he has. But like, if you're gonna make stupid laws like this one, aka no puppy paws, then at least follow through with it. So he should have got DQ'd, uh, or not DQ'd, but he should have got fined at least. Um, I think it may be DQ'd if the UCI are going that harsh. I mean, if they DQ'd someone for a water bottle infraction, then maybe they're gonna DQ people for putting their arms on the handlebars. Anyway, that scene was a joke. Today, Aaron Baru as well, like, he was on the front on his own and was, like, about to go. And he was like, oh, no, I can't do it. And that's like, ah, oh, just stupid rules. I'm not a fan of them. But I've already made a video saying why I'm not a fan of them and that they don't really make any sense. And then finally, I want to talk about the super tuck. So now what people have done instead of the super tuck, which is what I thought they'd do. So super tuck, obviously, you used to just sit on the top tube, have your hands out wide normally, sometimes in the middle, but mainly out wide um, on the brakes. And you'd super tuck and it was all good. And now what people have done, which I've said is, is, the, is the same, is, some people say it's the same speed, some people say it's slightly slower, but everyone basically recognises that it's a very similar speed um, that you can achieve by doing this position, where you basically sit on the saddle, but have your hands um, on the front of the, like, uh, very close to the stem, and then tuck your head in as much as possible. And that is what everyone's doing now. And some people have say, been saying to me, like, isn't that more dangerous? And I think there's two parts. So number one, it's not quite as dangerous as the super tuck, in my opinion because you don't have all your weight on the front wheel. So that I think is probably better. If you hit a pothole, you're more likely to, you know, not send it straight over the handlebars. I also would say that it's easier to get out of the super tuck, like out of that position into the brakes and then ready for a corner than from the super tuck. Well, obviously you have to sort of stand up and then back. So I think on those two things, it probably is slightly more safer. However, I don't think it's better that people now don't have access to their brakes at all. Having said that, how many people are going to brake in the super tuck? Probably not many, but I still think it'd be better if people actually had brakes when they're descending instead of just in the middle. So again, the UCI has tried to solve something and not really solved anything. And I'm going to show you this clip of Peo Bilbao now in the GP Miguel Indarain. And he basically is super tucking there. But he probably has a tiny, tiny amount of his ass on the saddle, like a tiny amount. And then technically, he's not super tucking. He's just getting air on the bike, and that's allowed. But anyway, so what we've seen over this last couple of days 
is that the UCI have made stupid laws that don't really make sense, and then when they've come to apply them, have applied them badly, and I don't know why we expect anything else. It's the UCI, they aren't really very good about a lot of things. I think the barrier safety seems to have increased, improved. Um, I know like in E3, everyone was very happy about the barriers, but E3 is slightly relevant because there's no bunch sprints really in E3, so not that useful. But anyway, it's good that people are actually changing the barrier situation. Uh, but yeah, everything else is basically just the same as usual. UCI make stupid rules, no one agrees with them, and then just apply them randomly without consistency or too harsh or too lenient and all the rest of it. So anyway, those are my points. Uh, let me know what you think about the UCI laws. Don't forget, uh, don't remember, yeah, don't forget to do the subscriptions and the click the like button and all the rest of it. And uh, we will see you in the next one.